Hi, I'm Emil, the practical engineer, and today I'm making this gearbox lamp. And as usual, I have these templates to cut it. These holes I'm drilling now are the holes that are gonna connect the front and the back panel. I'm drilling them now, I'm putting a plug in so I can sand the front and back panel all the way around and I know it won't wobble later because they're already aligned. down a little bit of the diameter of the forcement bit on the disc sander that way the bearings that will fit in here will have a really nice press fit you actually have to slam them in with a hammer with the forcement bit like the regular size they would fit in really loose and I was afraid they would come out okay these are done let's make some gears I need some of the gears twice so to save me some work I'm gonna staple two boards together like this glue the template on and then I can cut them two at the same time and the very last moment I'll cut the staples out and I have two gears. By painting and sanding the gears, I'm hoping to give them a little bit more of an industrial and worn look. So that's why I'm sanding some of the paint off. Also, the darker gears give a little bit more of contrast when it's uh, between the two plates. To make this mechanism a lamp I have this socket that needs to go in here so I need to drill a big hole in this piece where I can fit the socket the switch and the power cable in
it works. If you want to make one of these lamps yourself, I have a full set of build plans available on my website. Or if you become a patron of mine, which is linked down there, you'll get the build plans for free. Until then, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And don't forget, dare to experiment and have fun creating.